here, 7 3. John Part in Lundberg. front against John Alan Warner. First time that uh, they've ever met here at Blackpool. And the Canadian is three legs away from a clash with Terry Jenkins in the second round on Tuesday night. Yes, Alan Warner now that uh, beautiful 167 checkout to take that last leg before the break. He's going to have to repeat uh, such shots, I think, a number of times to get back in this match. But it's nice to see there's still something left. 100. There. Well, a block of darts from Warren up. 59. Yes, John Part, 7 out of 13 hits, 54%. One in a 3 out of 10, evidently 30%. So uh, Part, clearly the better 97. on the doubles in this match. Uh, an overall average of 97 and a half, one in a 87 and a bit. So a full 10 points between them. Uh, 30. And maybe that's the reason why John too many scores like 164. that. 164. Absolutely livid, Warrener, with the way he has performed. But uh, so far, he, he's just been beaten by a, a better player. There's no doubt about that. And, uh, John Parr. 123. Third favourite coming John into the tournament. 24. Showing us why. Average in 98. Yes, so far as it... Uh, Stands anyway, the best performance uh, in the competition. Uh, Terry Jenkins had an average of 21. 97 plus in his victory earlier today. Alan, you require 149. But uh, Alan Warren needed a big check out here. He's got to win against the throw as 55. well as win it. So John one double one, three. three wanted for John Part to go 8 3 ahead. Not the easiest, of course. Maybe still a chance for Warren here. Between those two darts, that's what he's aiming for. No score. Now, Warren, this is a chance. 94. Can he take it? Oh, that's unlucky. Now, that is genuinely unlucky. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Doesn't it all start to go wrong when you least wanted to? Sad, because that 25 would have been very helpful indeed. Would have oh, good dart, though. Topsy wants. Unlucky 74. again. A brilliant recovery. But. Uh, it's all going wrong for one and a little part. <laughs> we'll have to part the waves here between that dart and the green bit you see there. And he fails to do so, landed in the water again. So another chance for one and a little. Now well, for the first break of the John Part throw. Inching ever closer. Double five. Double five, yes! Well, at last he breaks the Canadian's throw, and do you know what, when, when he well left played, three John Parts, I just had a feeling that, that Warner could get back into that leg. Now, is this the start of a comeback, or is it a temporary blip for the two times former world champ? Yes, we've just seen the reason why all dark players, uh, of whatever standard, number one in the world to number three millionth. Uh, don't like double three and the problem with going for double six 100. double twelve double six nice though they are when you get down to double three it's you get in a little bit close to that awkward zone and we've just seen it demonstrated even by a player as fine as john parks having to split three well is this going to be another one it is Five maximums now for John Part. Warren up to hit one. Five maximums, and he's certainly a handful for this man, Alan Warren, a little, because uh, he's just broken back. This man, the Lancastrian, now resident 44. in Cumbria, but uh, John Part has effectively rested the darts in this one. And uh, if he puts together another score here, and it looks as though he's going to. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, all three in the red bit. Smack in the lipstick there, the Canadian. Puts himself on 41 and 11 darts.
That's what this leg will take if he takes it out. What a response from Park after he made a mess of that last leg. 11 data if he can get this. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant leg of darts from John Park. That was, well, for me, the best leg that we've seen so far in this tournament. I, I think you're probably not far off the mark there. I haven't watched every single dart thrown, but I'll tell you why you come to that conclusion, and I agree, is that in contrast to the previous leg, where, frankly, he messed it up, but to respond with a brilliant 11 darter like that sends messages out beyond that particular stage at the moment. To others in this tournament, Part is definitely a man to beat this week. Well, average of 95 and a half for the Canadian. Six maximums, 40% checkout. That is good going. It's old fashioned now to say bounce back ability, but that's what that was. <laughs> Fifty-nine. Uh, maybe uh, a glimmer here. But, uh, the ice man is melting under One the under. Blackpool lights here at the Winter Gardens. Fourteen consecutive appearances for Warrener here since the tournament started in 1994. Will he be back next year? Fifty-two. And, of course, uh, always had a, a great following here in, in the early days, especially when there were, uh, well, well, let's just say, a, a few places spare. Uh, there was always a good Lancastrian audience to follow Alan Moriner from originally just up the road in Lancaster. Yeah, lovely last dart. Alan Just thought about it, didn't he? But uh, 124. Yes, treble 18 needed. Would have left the ball. Well, he either thought about it or sometimes the dart, you lose the grip and you have to reassemble 50. the dart in your fingers. It might have been John hesitation as a result of that. We'll never know, of course. But uh, whatever, you're quite right. Treble 19 was a belter. It means that 143 is the target. Can't get it now. So Warren a little could yet break back again and be just one breakdown, Stuart. 102. 102. Uh, 41 for part. Big 20 would leave him one dart to break back again. 34. Too many missed doubles. He John has had his chances, 41. you know. He really has had his opportunities, Warrener. Yes, only 27% strike rate and... Uh, is Benoit to a certain extent. Double eight again, exhibition stuff. No, he really did go for double 16 and was therefore a rather unfortunate. 40. So 40 for Warren, a little for eight five, a break back, double 10. Got it, got it. And the last three legs have all gone against Throw Stewart. 